What's up guys, my name is Jellycut5 and welcome back to the episode of the Tenerife Career Mode. Before we do get into this episode, if you haven't done so already, please hit that like button, please hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that notification button so you never miss a video. 80% of you are currently unsubscribed to the channel so if you get a chance to do so now, just click the button down below. We start off today's episode looking at our player development and where we're at as a team. And I feel like we're doing pretty well. The players that we've brought in in the summer, they're developing well. We've got Spilliers that's doing Doing really well, Palacio, Coassi, really good development, Malagon's reached 80 rated, Adrian Liso is a monster goals now, he's 72 rated, they're starting to be an upgrade on the players that we currently have, Marcel Ruiz, 78 rated, Chris Rigg is playing a decent role, 70 rated, uh, Cameron only 17 years of age but he's 67 year, uh, rated, Alvarez has slotted straight into the side and he's looking to be able to be a decent player that's for sure, and our new striker, Sheraldo Beck is absolutely just performing like mad in front of goal at the moment. So it's really, really positive to see that the signings we've made over the time that we've been a manager, that it seems to be working in our favour. We start off today's episode with a game against Girona, a team that's been doing pretty well so far. So we've got a big test at home, it has to be said. Confident, but at the same time, anything can happen in these particular fixtures and we have to be on our best sort of a game. Looking forward to it, as I mentioned, but it is that kind of thing where you have it in the back of your head where anything can sort of happen especially when you're coming up against a top side like Girona they're definitely developed over the years getting European football but this is the lineup: Malagon, Melo, Coassi, Spilliers and Rodriguez Liso, Ruiz, Diara and Hereta Alvarez just ahead and who else but Geraldo Becker as our lone striker let's get into this game and let's see what we can do against Girona and we're looking forward to see if we can come out on top in our home clash eight minutes into the game we kind of start off really slow in fairness Girona look to get themselves started with Martin looking to find his teammate on the right and side does well to be able to drive forward and get a ball into the area but the, the shot is absolutely woeful it has to be said no direction from that one whatsoever and that is not a good one from him at all all 12 minutes into the tie now we're looking to try and see if we can do something and just try and see if we can get the ball rolling in fairness because it's been a bit slow from ourselves sort of struggled to contain any sort of possession to even kind of look like we're actually going to go on the attack ourselves and we're coming under some threat once again here as you can see lots of pressure from Girona and a big save from Malagon on this particular occasion really really good stuff from Girona they've definitely started the game the better of the two as they look to get something from the corner kick 15 minutes into the tie the ball is whipped in good delivery it has to be said as it falls on the outside of the area we struggle to clear our lines. Rodriguez picks it up in the end as he looks to stray down the right hand side but he just can't seem to get it clear. Spilliers with a challenge now as you can see as he looks to be able to burst down the right hand side. Rodriguez now on to Hereta, but he just can't seem to get the pass off. Now it's a great opportunity and that's an even better challenge. Koasi with a dead cert challenge to be able to deny a goal and that goes out for a corner kick. Corner kick to be taken there as he lifts the, the ball into the air. It's a good delivery, but it seems to get clear in the end. And that is the end of that particular attack. 25 minutes into the game and we still yet to create anything. It's been really poor from our side. Just can't seem to get anything sort of going. But we look to pick it out on the right into the middle there as Diara looks to be able to see if he can find a teammate. Really struggling to get forward, as I mentioned. But he looks to get past one player. He finds himself in a good position finding Alvarez on the right hand side. Could get the ball into the area and there's many in support at the same time as he looks to be able to see if he can make it difficult for the defender but once again we just struggled at that final hurdle it's really poor from ourselves and we haven't got going in this tie whatsoever as Herrera looks to get something going here as Herrera finds his teammate Becker this could be a chance for ourselves as he looks to turn against the defender but he just can't seem to get that particular shot off as much as he would like and he misses it there as you can see Alright, that was our first chance in the tie. At least it was something, but we're still not being able to really do anything in this tie. It seems to be we're coming under so much pressure at the moment there. Challenge was made from Melo. Advantage being played. A ball into the air. It's a great chance, it has to be said. Decent defending, but it still falls into a decent area in possession there. As Valerie picks it out on the left, he finds Rahm in a really good bit of space. Mivoski, and that's a top save from Malagon. He's really, really keeping us in this tie without him between the sticks. We'd definitely be trailing by a vast amount, in fairness, because this first half has just been so poor for us. I just can't really seem to fake why, because our performances of late have been pretty special, in fairness. But in, at the end of the day, I feel like it comes to an end at some point, and it seems to be this game, and they have got their goal. It's Tenerife nil, Girona won, and it was coming. Um, it was on the cards when you allow so much pressure from a decent side like Girona, and unfortunately, they've made the most of our mistakes there, as you can see. Decent effort, a simple pass into the box. Spillier's compete. 
pick the defender up, uh, the attacker up, sorry, and Mavoski puts it straight in to the back of the net. Into the second half, we're hoping for bigger and better things, but there's no hope, that's for sure, as Martin looks to play out from the middle, finds Herrera with a decent bit of space there. Martin, now Mavoski there, as he looks to find it on the right-hand side. Good opportunity to see what he could do, as he finds Mavoski once again there, and this is a massive sucker punch. It's Tenerife nil, Girona 2, and they are running away with this particular fixture now. Nothing that we can seem to do in anything, in fairness, because they just seem to be so much better than us. Why? I can't say, but it seems to be they just, I don't know, on the day, I, I really thought we could compete with them, but it doesn't seem to be the case, and we are now trailing two goals to nil in this tie. Really difficult for us to get going, as I mentioned, as we get things off the kickoff then. No chance is really created apart from that chance in the first half from Becker, but that was literally it. Nothing to be said whatsoever as Melo looks to get something going. He looks to find Becker, but it's, once again, it's just really, really poor. Martin playing out to Mavoski there as he finds an option on the right hand side. He's got many in support at the same time. Girona driving into the box there as you can see and they're so good in the attack and they're so good in their passing. Martin now with an option to be able to find a teammate. He holds the ball up. We can't seem to get the ball off him and a free kick has been given just on outside of the area then. Really good chance for themselves to get another goal in this game and put the game to bed there as they look to step over the free kick and end the game. He steps over the free kick. Wall blocks it. It falls to Martin and uh, fortunately that is a decent goal you have to say. Tenerife nil, Girona free, and that's game set and match for themselves. There's no doubt about it whatsoever. It's a simple goal, but at the same time, it's a little bit unlucky. Bouncing off of the wall, there's not really much we could have done in that situation. We blocked the initial shot, and it was just unlucky that it fell to another player who hits it in his foot, and he puts it in to the bottom corner. You could easily say that this game was a complete write-off, in fairness. Uh, there's no real creativity, no passing, no possession, just nothing whatsoever, and it seems to only get worse. Ram plays it out on the left hand side opportunities to get the ball into the area there as you can see players drive into the box Valerie picks it out on the edge he's got many in support Mivoski being one of them and Mivoski is claiming the match ball he will be taking the match ball at the end of this particular game because that is his hat trick and that is Girona's fourth goal Tenerife nil Girona four and this is not good our heaviest defeat in the big league so far and it's clear to see why our performance was not up to scratch whatsoever I'm not too sure what Malagon was doing in that situation but the full time whistle has been blown Mivoski collects his match ball and it's a worthy win there's no doubt about it we were the second best in that whole game only one chance created in the first half and that was literally it one shot is never good enough in this league neither in the second division so we can't be playing like that in the future and there's a lot to be done in our next game that is for sure and our next game isn't going to get any easier we face Atletico Bilbao who have actually been struggling at the moment in the season uh, finding himself near to the bottom of the table which is very unlikely coming into December now um, and just hopefully we were able to get a result and sort of capitalise on that but you do feel that they could get a result easily with the performance that we did put in last against Girona so a big performance needed to be able to see if we could get a result and this is going to be the lineup. Managon in goal there as you can see with the back four of Melo, Palacio, Vasquez and Mikic. Merherta, Cameron, Rig and Cruz. Pereira just ahead in front of Alvarez this time round and Becker keeps his place up top. A few changes in the back four and so on. Hopefully that will kind of differ in our performance. You just never, never know. They've got some strong players. Anarchy Williams, Williams Jr. I mean they just the less goes on in fairness um, Atletico Bilbao are going to be competing but that's a great challenge you have to say from the defender as he puts out for a throw in um, and it looks to be that we're up for battle it's just not really creating anything in this first 10 minutes but we intercept the ball in the dangerous area there as you can see as we look to pick it up Pereira looks to find an option as it gets fouled initially and that's a great chance for a free kick as Cruz looks to step over the free kick then this could be a great opportunity for ourselves he steps over the free kick and the shot is blocked not the best of free kicks it has to be said it doesn't seem to be the, with the strongest from set pieces as we carry on in this tie. 28 minutes on the clock. Williams finds his teammate Adley there with a great opportunity to turn his man. He does exactly that there. Great defending at the same time to be able to put him off. And that is going out for the offside there. As you can see as Malagon plays it out from the back. Palacio now Melo on the left-hand side. Finding his teammate Cesar Herreta. Straight ball to Gerardo Becker there as he plays it down the line to Herreta also. He takes a heavy touch to find himself in a great opportunity here. Rob Cameron. Now it's Becker and it is a goal. We've got our first goal of the episode and it's a let's go Bilbao nil Tenerife 1 and Geraldo Becker gets himself on the score sheet after a poor game against Girona I was kind of out of the blue in fairness because we haven't really created anything in this tie but we'll definitely take it that's for sure
sure um, when you're not really performing and you're able to still get results or goals and it's always a beneficial factor that you can at least get something out of the game it's just very very hard to do so at that point in time but a very good effort there from Becker there as he puts it into the top corner the keeper gets absolutely nowhere near it and we now are leading in this tie with 35 minutes on the clock 10 minutes and left until the first half ends with Mikic with a very good interception keeping Neko Jr in his place it seems to be as he's doing really really well on that right hand side Melo tries to play out from the back though and that's a really poor pass it has to be said he tries to get over on the challenge but once again second best on that particular occasion there is Anaki Williams finds his teammate Adley there with a great opportunity to get the shot off initially blocked by Vasquez and then uh, Rig I'm pretty sure and it goes out for a corner kick chance from the corner as the corner's whipped in there good clearance it has to be said as Hareta looks to rush to the ball but he can't pick it up Williams on the ball once again there finding his teammate it's now Adley now with a chance and we seem to do very very good on the back line there as Hareta picks it out on the left hand side could this be a counter attacking option there from the from the corner as Hareta drives forward there as you can see using his pace to get in good position he finds Becker he chests it down and the shot is absolutely woeful it has to be said it looks to go out for a throw in but out Nori looks to be able to collect it the ex Wolves man finds his teammate in the middle of the field then there's Atletico look to go on the attack once again but Cruz with a vital interception deep up the half there it's now Becker and that is a snatch and grab goal if you've ever seen one it's Atletico Bilbao nil Tenerife two and Becker gets his second goal of the game as he grabs a two goal margin in this tie really really happy with that as we haven't really been in this tie in fairness but a decent interception deep in the half and we managed to get a very vital goal there Becker with a solid finish putting it in to the bottom corner with a two-goal lead now, we feel much more comfortable, it has to be said. But let's go Bilbao, get themselves kicked off for the rest of the first half that is remaining. One minute on the clock as Anaki Williams gets the ball received to him on the right-hand side. He looks to drive forward, finding a teammate there, as you can see. Sunset looks to get an option as he finds Bendon Kaur. It's a great ball to Williams, it has to be said. He drives forward with a great opportunity. But that is a solid challenge, I have to say, as a full-time, or oh, the half-time whistle, sorry, has been blown in this tie. Good first half, but I'm not convinced by the performance whatsoever we've still got a big half to play in this second and that is a very poor challenge from Melo there as he takes out Williams advantage being played this is a great chance for Adley and it's a great chance nearly taken as it goes from post to post ah, that's not gone in I'm not too sure but a great bit of defending to be able to get the ball out initially and we are very lucky not to be conceding in that moment substitutions to be made there Becker, Hereta and Cameron off for Senhaji uh, and Guerrero and also Keanu Dyer. Uh, as you can see the heart the three which changes to kind of help us in a sense but at the same time it's always hard for them to come into the game with 20 minutes left to spare there as Atletico Bilbao look to create a chance straight away after we make some substitutions it's Adley there of a great opportunity he holds the ball up well finding his teammate he goes back to Adley there as you can see as he holds his play and that is a decent clearance but Palacio looks to find Cruz on the right hand side as Cruz drives forward many in support Pereira is one of them Pereira can't latch onto the ball though he's had an assist in this game but he's been very very poor in my opinion and now Bilbao on the attack there and as Sunset finds Williams this is a great turn he finds Sunset once again there he looks to fill into the gap there he finds Adley and Adley finds the back of the net Atletico Bilbao only trailing by the one goal and they've got 15 or so minutes left to get themselves back into the tie and get that second and you can never write them off in that sort of position they've got the momentum behind them they've got everything they need can they get the result three minutes left on the clock we look to play it around the back and see the result out there but a poor pass from Vasquez and we've put ourselves right in the deep end there as Adley won the ball once again and you cannot give that man space he's a top goal scorer in the league so far and let's go Bilbao looks to be rescuing the point in this tie and you can only say that this seems to be a very disappointing episode from our sort of factors um obviously the last game against Girona was a sort of write-off coming into this game we'd have thought we'd needed a better performance and uh, the better performance we've got but it's a fine line and unfortunately we're just really really poor at this moment in time to be able to concede goals like that and we have drawn a level in this tie it's a big two points dropped I would have liked to have picked up three points in this tie after coming off the defeat against Girona but at the end of the day that's just how games go sometimes it's hard to predict but unfortunately we had it in our hands but we just gave it away game management will get better over the time by playing these teams week in week out but unfortunately for now we have to share the points there simulation game now as we face Real Solskjaer dad looking to get a result as Becker visits his old team and we do get a 2-1 victory with Becker scoring against his former side and we've also got Adrian Guerrero getting on the score sheet. 
Last simulation game of this particular episode as we face Deportivo Alves away from home and once again a 2-1 victory. Becker also getting on the score sheet once again but Cesar Herrera opening up the scoring. It seems to be Becker slashed and that late winner to be able to secure all three points away from home to Deportivo Alves. And here we go then. We've got our final game of the episode as we face Malaga away from home. We are in the Copa del España. Really looking forward to this particular tie as we face a Liga 2 team. We played them last season. We did fairly well. Uh, Malaga didn't have the best of seasons last season I'm not too sure how they're keeping up as of the moment but I'm looking forward to this and I'm sure they are at the same time because they'll be looking to step up against a bigger side this is the lineup: Carrasco, Vasquez, Agroni, Mikic, Medrano on the left hand side moving forward to the midfield we have Moreno, Dyer, Martin, Guerrero, Pereira and we also have Senhaji with coming the cup games obviously means that we're able to kind of change it up and be able to play our second keeper I have a few players that don't normally get the minutes in the bigger league so gives players some chance chances to be able to shine in this particular competition and see why they sh their names should be on the first team list for the bigger games. One minute into the game then, just playing it around the back, see if we can kind of get a feel for the game more than anything. It's Medorano picks it out on the left-hand side. Senhaji makes a run there as he looks to try and find him, but he counts as there, as you can see. He's Guerrero in support, but he looks to go back to his teammate and Dyer now picks up the ball. He's got many options, but he takes it upon himself to get past one. He now gets past two. He's got very lucky. He's got past three, and he's got his goal. It's Keanu Dyer that makes it Malaga nil. Tenerife 1 and that is an A start to this game with 4 minutes into the tie already we find ourselves opening up the scoring as he celebrates in front of the travelling fans really really good effort from Keanu Dyer to get past so many defenders at the same time was not expecting that from some sort of player of his sort of standard but he is kind of shocked us in fairness and that's a very very tidy finish against uh, Malaga there really really happy with that and the fight against the defenders to be able to get past and he's done so so well in his moment in time and he has got his well earned goal from that particular attack there as Malaga they could get themselves kicked off once again in this tie. They're going to be hurting knowing that they've conceded an early goal and they can only think this may continue on. But they're going to try and get themselves back into the game there. Playing it around the back. Larson now goes forward as he looks to find Labote there. Good bit of play so far but Malaga make a good interception as Medorano looks to find his teammate Keanu Dyer. The goal scorer looks to find Guerrero on the left hand side. Many in support. Vasquez being one of them as he goes from the centre back to up front it seems to be. As Guerrero drives forward there as you can see. Many in support. Senhaji being one of them. He could get a ball into the area. The ball is whipped in there. Poor delivery as the clearance is made there as you can see but only as far as Mikic as he picks the ball up he finds Dyer. Dyer to Pereira on the right hand side. He's got many in support. He looks to go back on himself as there's no one in front of him there as you can see. On the wing is Mikic. Now on to Dyer. Now to Martin. Good ball so far as you can see. Dyer skipping past one. He's going to skip past two. Surely he can't do the same as what he just done. Of course he can. It's Malaga nil. Tenerife two and Keanu Dyer gets his second goal of the game. Very similar to the first goal that he scored and I'm not too sure how he's pulling this off but he is and that's a sublime finish there against Malaga to be able to create a two goal lead in this tie and create a bit more of a cushion that is for sure what a finish that is, a bit of a harder finish this time as he's brought to the right hand side of an angle but a very very good finish in front of the away fans and we are very very happy with our performance in this first half as Malaga haven't really got going yet they haven't created any sort of chances trying to play it around the back and see if we can kind of get Nimro to go further forward and get a third there as Guerrero plays it out on the left hand side Senhaji in support there as you can see he picks up the play. He looks to skip inside and get past the player as he holds up the ball really nicely. He takes the shot off and that is a decent save from the Malaga keeper there as he looks to play it out from the back and get themselves back in possession. Malaga not having the best of starts in this first half and they really need to start creating some chances if they want to find themselves back into the game. But they seem to be losing out on the ball too much and Keanu Dyer now looking to find his teammate Pereira. He skips past one. It's a great opportunity for Pereira but only the post stands in his way on that particular occasion there as it looks to go out in the end for a goal kick. Dylan Pereira not happy with his opportunity there but it's a very good chance it's just a shame he wasn't able to take it with the post denying him on that particular occasion with 34 minutes now on the clock looking to see if Malaga can drive forward Larson on the right hand side, he's got many in support at the same time, he could take the shot but he finds his teammates and Carrasco brought into action for the first time in this fixture as he makes a very very solid save putting it out for a corner kick, Larson whips the corner in, it's a good delivery it has to be said no one really deals with it but in the end it does go out for a goal kick then. I'm feeling comfortable in this game and now going into second half we just know we need to see out this fixture in fairness. We look to start off the kick off really strong here as you can see. Senhaji looking to find Guerrero on the left hand side after intercepting it off the kick off we could have a chance here. Guerrero with a chance to find his teammate Moreno he skips inside, he runs into the gap, it's a great chance for Moreno. Just denied from the keeper on that particular occasion. Unfortunately not able to convert in front of goal but as I mentioned we're very feeling very comfortable we just know we need to get this result over 
the line to get ourselves a through to the next round of the Copa de España. And it's a, t a competition that I'd like to take seriously this year, in fairness, and something that I feel like we could really compete in. But moving forward, Moreno's got another chance here, but once again there, the keeper denies on that particular occasion. But it does go out for a corner kick. Corner whipped in from Guerrero. It's a great opportunity, but a, a groanie just hitting the bar there as the keeper collects it in the end. A very, very unlucky chance. Substitutions now as Cruz and Cameron come onto the pitch for Martin and Senhaji. who have had pretty average games in this particular fixture. I expected more of Senhaji. I know they had a chance in the first half, but just not really performing the way I would like to in this season so far. Not saying that we'd sell him by any means, but he definitely needs to pick up the standards if he wants to feature in the first team as much as he says he does. With 57 minutes on the clock, we've seen the game out now, really. Uh, we've had a few chances in the second half, but now another chance there for Malaga as Carrasco brought into a decent bit of action. Mikic running towards the ball, he does really well in fairness, it looks to go out for a corner kick but then it seems to be given a throw in, I'm, I'm not too sure how that really works as you can see it was literally just straight after that particular occasion but they do have a throw in here as you can see and they do take it very quickly playing it on the left hand side, trying to depossess the Malaga attackers there as you can see, Larson picking it out on the right hand side as he looks to do something and take the ball down really well out of the air, he finds his teammate in a great opportunity but decent defending for the moment as another save made from Carrasco, decent stuff it has to be said and he does collect it in the end and that is the end of that just shoring up the defence with Palacio coming on for Vasquez has had a pretty solid game against Malaga I have to say just being able to be sure that we can get the result over the line and book our place in the next round of the Copa de España as Pereira now looks to go on the attack after being played from Moreno there as you can see doesn't seem to have the pace but he's found himself in a great opportunity many in support Ang Angel being one of them it's now Cameron and unfortunately a save has been made on that particular chance there as you can see um, but once again it was just one of those where I feel like we could really take more of our chance but once we got the two goals early on it seemed to be that our luck sort of run out in front of goal not too sure why that seems to happen at that point in time but it has done in this particular fixture with five minutes left on the clock Malaga is still in search of their first goal as a ball is whipped into the area there but it seems to clear it but it falls out to a teammate and that is very lucky because that was a big block from a groney and it goes out for a corner kick corner whipped in there as you can see clearance made as Angel looks to pick it up he can't seem to do so there as you can see many in support as Enriquez is one of them and that is a top chance but unfortunately not to be converted on this particular occasion and we are through to the next round of the Copa de España it was a sort of tie where we kind of got it done in the first half and that was it in fairness Malaga gave it their all in the second half and created some important chances but not to be converted on the night and we do find ourselves booking the next place in the round of uh, I'm pretty sure 32 I'm not I might be completely mistaken uh, but yeah really really happy for Keanu Dyer to get two goals he hasn't really featured that much this season but he's definitely proved his worth and why he should be playing with two superb goals against Malaga and as you can see right down at the bottom of the table we're still at Let's Go Bilbao in 18th which is surprising to see uh, Cadiz and Real Zagoza not exactly performing that well themselves having coming up from the second division up to the Liga but this is where we stand in the table we've played 18 we've won 9 we've drew 7 and we've lost 2 currently sitting on 34 points in a conference league spot which I'm quite happy about in fairness um, and we're kind of ticking all the boxes it's just the case of being able to kind of do it there and then but I feel like we're kind of in a good position we just need to continue where we are and kind of pick up the results when needed. Uh, but with that being said, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Please like and subscribe for more content. And don't forget to hit that notification button so you never miss a video. Cheers.